So I just wanted to share something with you all um, that use the radionics um, from Burkana Labs with the Spooky 2 um, generators. I wanted to share something that I've been doing for a few days that I'm really excited about. Um, I live in New Hampshire. It's mid-May and we're currently experiencing probably the worst tick infestation I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty old. <laughs> so I, I've been pulling dozens of ticks off of myself and my three dogs daily. And that is really not an exaggeration. I mean, I can't even walk to my mailbox without having ticks all over me. So um, since I have a well, I live on a, quite a bit of property and I have a well and my three dogs get to roam. Um, and I don't like to put any chemicals on my property or on my dogs. I decided I'm gonna try using this Spooky 2 setup because I know a lot of farmers actually successfully control pests on their crops with radionics. So I thought, well, the ticks are certainly pests. So here's what I did. I I set up the, um, the Spooky 2 with the radionics killing, the killing program, uh, the preset. And I also added in the py uh, permethrin um, I guess that's a chemical that's often used to spray yards for ticks. And so I added the permethrin frequencies in there and fired it up. And I am running it on my little spooky XM generator. And it's attached to this Vercana radionics unit. And I already tuned it because I have the stick pad over there, so it's tuned. Um, that's a whole process that you learn from reading the manual. Um, I also have a tick that I pulled off one of my dogs. It's in there. It's still alive, actually. It's been in there for three days, and it's still trying to get out of there. thought maybe it would suffocate by now, but no luck. Um, so that I've got that. That's on the output plate, so the input plate has the frequencies coming in with a crystal for amplification. The output plate is the tick, and then I have an extension plate, which is also an output plate. And in the manual, it says to use for pest control in a field that you wanna get an aerial photograph of your property. So I got a perfect one off of Google Earth. Um, you just type your address in, and it's amazing what, what kind of photographs they have of your private property, but um, it came in handy this time. Um, and also it says to get a soil sample from the northeast, south, and west corners of your property and, and place those on top of the photograph in the areas, the appropriate areas. You kind of want to put it around the photograph the way it actually lays out in real life. I also have claw clippings in um, these little samples here. Those are from my dogs um, because they do still have ticks on them. I, I brush them all the time looking for them, but there's always some that I miss. Um, so I want to kill them on the dog's body as well. And so I've got it running. It's been running for about three days now, and I cannot even believe the um, how few ticks I'm finding now. I mean, I, I know that's anecdotal and they may have just run their course or maybe the birds have eaten them all up but i went from dozens a day to so far like three or four a day which is manageable so i'm pretty excited about that um and i just wanted to share that